Okay, you join me outside. Put my hair out, it's a bit of a mess. You join me outside DAF where we just dropped off our truck for a six week check. And uh, walking over from DAF to Scania. Why are we walking over to Scania? We've got to take back one of the Arctics. Yeah, uh, got to take back one of the Arctics to the yard from here. So I am technically back in an Arctic. <laughs> Clickbaity title, title, maybe, who knows. Got no idea if it's got a trailer on it or not. We'll uh, find out in a second, but uh, let's go get the keys, let's go find it and take it back to the yard. Back in an Arctic. Okay, here she is. This is the truck I'm taking back with me. I'm just waiting to find out whether um, whether or not I'm actually taking anyone else with me or not in the in the passenger seat because there's three of us here and uh, I could take someone with me or they could take a car, I don't know uh, we're waiting to find out but yeah, I'm just doing some daily checks making sure everything's alright on the truck and uh, yeah, and then we'll be off got my card in so I ain't going anywhere until uh, I check the lorry over and make sure it's all nice and safe but yes, all good okay there we are then, back in the Arctics, albeit for a 10 minute or so journey. <laughs> but um, there's a couple of naughty bends coming up, which I ain't happy about. <laughs> it's not that I'm not happy about it, turning out the dog. It's just, uh, it's bad enough in a rigid, let alone an Arctic. So it's going to be fun when we get there. It's a proper, proper hard left hand turn. And uh, I'm definitely going to have to be on the other side of the road to make it. And, uh, can't see what's coming either way, so... reverse out of the bay <laughs> where it was being looked at I had to reverse it out and uh, put out no problem so I haven't lost my touch that's good so a few people are probably wondering why why don't I uh, do class one work for these guys and I mean it is possible maybe in the future who knows but from what I from what I know or from what I've heard or seen a lot of the work is very sort of like quarry to quarry whereas what I'm doing at the moment I go to like new and exciting places do you know what I mean um, 8419 left I don't often go this way yeah so like I'm always going to new sites and it's something different every day kind of do you know I mean I might be doing the same stuff over and over again like go to the same sites and during the day do the same stuff over and over again but like it's still different sites most days do you know what I mean um, and with, with, with this, with the Arctic, you don't do that. You don't go to the uh, different sites each day. From what I can see, you just go from quarry to quarry, so doing the bulk delivery. So, I mean, I do miss the Arctics. 100% I miss the Arctics. I don't miss the hours. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> um, I just miss the challenge of, of like negotiating some like country roads and with a long trailer. The thing is, right, with these Arctic trailers, with the, with the Arctic tippers, um, they're not long at all. <laughs> just, the, the trailers themselves are so short, so um, they're not difficult to drive at all. If I struggled right now, I'd, I'd be having serious 
concerns about myself because <laughs> uh, in terms of Arctic driving they're probably uh, one of the easiest to drive the, uh, the tippers because they're so short in terms of length so um, you can get them in places a lot easier uh, I mean you could argue that there's more room uh, forever in the sense that uh, you know you can get out of sync with your reverse quite quickly if that makes sense once you lose it it's gone in that sense with a short trailer but it's also easy to get it back again whereas with a longer trailer you need more space to uh, to get it in basically so yeah we're just going to have a nice drive back to the yard now uh, in an arctic oh, I do miss it and I'm not going to say whose arctic this is but um, very clean very clean I'm actually impressed how clean it is. <laughs> so it's sparkling all over. Very well kept. So um, I think they watch my videos, not because they like them. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you are watching me, um, yeah, nice clean truck. Right. M4. I'm going to assume this is the quick Yeah, yeah it's the quick speed. I just can't recall ever seeing an Arctic go the way that I that we normally go back to the yard. I can't recall seeing an Arctic go that way. But it, to my knowledge it is also the best way to go for an Arctic. So and like I said there's just a naughty left hand turn coming up when we get there and uh, yeah I'm gonna have to be on the other side of the road, sharp left. Yeah. Oh we see, we see, we see. <laughs> Right, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep, let's go a bit further. where the test center is the test center's down there so even this uh this right hand turn that i'm talking about um even now i've taken an arctic round so we'll have a oh, i might have turned left i'm not sure anyway that nice nice bendy truck <laughs> i'm just trying to think now did i turn left or did i turn right no i definitely turned left 100 percent yeah 100 percent would have turned left um, when learning to drive a truck, that might be a learner in front of that talking about it. It is, is it? No, it's not. No, that wasn't the learner truck. But yeah, no, learner trucks do come up and down here all the time. I'm not sure if they are at the moment because of the, uh, the COVID and that. So anyway, we're just going to take nice and steady going down these uh, down these lanes because it is a bit tight. And uh, an eight-wheeler, let alone an Arctic. So, uh, one of the last Arctics I was in was obviously a, an MAN Double XL. Um, that's what I used to drive mainly, and it had more of a sunroof. <laughs> so it feels the sunroof feels really low. I feel like I'm too high up, but I have to be this high up because um, I've got long legs. And I've always my, my feet look cramped when it comes to the pedals. I think some people forget how tall I am. I'm uh, six foot three. Are you crossing? No. No crossing. Yeah, I was six foot three, so um, pretty tall. I think <laughs> it's one of the things that a lot of people say to me when they meet me in, in real life in person. They always go, "Wow, you're a lot bigger than in real life." I don't know whether they mean belly or not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they mean height. They know I'm fat already. <laughs> um, I think the camera has a, uh, it can lie with regards to height, uh, it doesn't portray height very well, especially when you sat down most of the day doing your filming, do you know what I mean? You haven't really got anything to compare me to, 
and even if I stand outside in front of the truck, it's, you know, the trucks are massive, <laughs> so it doesn't make you look big, if anything, it just makes you look small still, so, yeah, I think um, I'm a lot taller in person than a lot of people think I am. Six foot three, bit of a, bit of a tall one, I think I'm the tallest person in my family, so I'm pretty sure I am, actually. Oh, someone's having some sky installed. Yeah, we'll just go down here, nice and steady, nice and steady. Getting back to uh, working on class one for these lot. I don't think the class one drivers get paid any more money either. I think it's about the same money. To be honest with you, I, I'm, I, I might be wrong now, I'm not sure. But um, I'm pretty sure one of the RT drivers said that they get paid the same regardless. Um, but having said that, the Arctic driver in question was driving an 8-wheeler at the time and actually the person whose truck this is, I've seen them drive an 8-wheeler a few times as well. So it's kind of like you drive an Arctic when you can, but if it's not busy enough then um, drive an 8-wheeler. So it could be something I do in the future, who knows. I'm really enjoying the job at the moment. Um, when I when I first came here, it's not that I didn't enjoy it, it was just more of a bit mundane I mean, compared to what I was used to. Um, I'd used to, I used to work like all, all of the hours under the sun and I'd always be at it, like busy. And uh, I mean, this is go, go, go in the sense that you just continuously drive it. You, you rack up hours driving doing this job on the eight wheelers, but um, it's just repetitive. Like I said, a bit, bit mundane, so. But at the moment, I'm enjoying it, so that's the main thing. But yeah, I dropped my DAF off uh, at DAF, obviously, for a six week check. And um, tomorrow, I expect I'll come into work tomorrow and have to drive one of the work vehicles or get a lift with someone. I don't know whether they're doing that at the moment because of COVID. Back there to DAF to pick uh, my truck back up again and then continue on in the morning. It does mean um, I'm probably, yeah, I'm going to be in, in work tomorrow for six o'clock, which is, I think that's the time we're supposed to start. I never normally get into half past. <laughs> never normally get in until half past six and still get all the work done. But I think I'm going to have to get in for six tomorrow so then I can get to DAF by half six and then start from there. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, here comes this nasty left hand turn I'm not looking forward to. It's the next turn. I'm sure we'll be alright, it's just uh, I have to be on the other side of the road to make it. And obviously, vehicles are going to be coming in from the right and left. It's difficult to make it in an eight wheeler. You have to come to a stop as well. Okay, nice and steady, nice and steady. So we've got to get onto the other side of the road now. Clear left, clear right. Lovely. Just keep my that trailer on that house. Take the overswing, which there isn't any. <laughs> on um, normally when you drive an Arctic with a trailer on the back, you, you make a turn and obviously you check the trailer but you also have a quick glance over the other side for the overswing. There's no overswing on these. <laughs> with, a, with a curtain cider trailer or a low loader or but mainly mainly a curtain cider trailer, um, there's a massive overhang. When you turn when you turn right there'd be an overhang to the left. Um, lots of people have taken out the tops of cars <laughs> doing stuff like that. Right. Check the speed. We've got to do the speed limit going through here because residents aren't um, too happy with the amount of trucks going through. There we go, make sure we're doing 30 miles an hour. I'm going to do one more turn, one final turn in an Arctic, and then I'll end the video. But yeah, Luke C in an HTV, back in an Arctic. Kind of. <laughs> Uh, right, let's turn right here. We're all clear. There we go, look, look at the trailer in the back, if you can. Anyway, thank you for watching this very short and sweet video, I do appreciate it. I'm um, sorry if it seemed a bit too clickbaity, I mean I am technically back in an Arctic, it's not a lie. It's been a while since I've been in one, and I'm very happy to be back in one again, albeit temporary. So yeah. Thanks for watching, uh, stay safe, drive safe, and until next time, I'll see you soon, bye bye.